So, in this part, I'm in fact going to apply some special changes to our already made comp. So, mm, let me. I gotta click on this camera. No, no. Let it put it. Uh, uh, in fact, as our last change, put the particle and say, uh, let me here go to color, uh, random from gradient, see, and color life. I'm gonna give it some the orangish change and. This is very thing that I like. Let me change it to some more color like this. And uh, so this one, it's very real red. I do not like that. I'm gonna change, add some nice uh, yellow to it. I put it like this, and in fact, in here, I'm gonna put it in the, in the dark. So you change. Is it this and this? So you know, I think it's a more random uh, color. And also, uh, sorry for my repetition of uh, sound because because I'm thinking and my tongue could not be silent. So this is my problem. I will apologize for that. Next thing is that I'm gonna change perhaps opacity, but no opacity is. It is a uh, cruel change because it will uh, harm or it will in fact hurt us. Uh, so, uh, if I let's say rotate it, random rotation, we're gonna get nicer even though. So, it, it, it might seem not. So, uh, everything is good, uh, but the uh, size random. I think some changes even uh, make make it even nicer. So there remains specifically the so good good one of the things I uh, see necessary and in fact I was wasting my time around here uh, was was to use. The glow effect. I go to track with shine and you can see what happens there. Ray length. Colorize. Shadows. I'm going to make them even more better. Uh, that remains this. So I just put it in the tent. Uh, that's what I wanted to add. And so. So it's good. Click on camera. Let me go to change. Is the background I go to effect uh, generate ramp and turn it on so that it will be visible to us. What our change is going to be down there. Let me reverse the position of this. There. So, give it a more lighter value, and it also add some into understandable attempts in harmony with our uh, foreground foreground colors. Uh, good. The last thing is let me our camera setting. So eleven depth of field and 
will go to So build and on the layer level. So you can, you can see what happens here. You're gonna focus this is even if you if you rise it up, you you see what's really going on. Uh, if you put it on 100. going to calculate so it was uh, about to hang so I just uh, obliterated the risk the risk of hanging and losing my current project uh, so we're gonna can change this uh, uh, of course I do not like it I do not like it to be changed and 10 is for it. One of the things I'm going to do is to copy this particle, uh, hide one of them, and let me rename both of them. Call this one uh, like particle and like. Letters. Good. I go here and put it on uh, the low spheres. So you're gonna see this, which is not astonishingly made because my size was very regular. So size it to two. Small sizes only, even if it's big again, and turn it on. You get some nicer thing. We can try this uh, coloring, for example, color of this, which is uh, ugly. I don't like that. I can put it white again, it's ugly. Uh, let me put it random from gradient. So choosing this option will help us. Of course, I can change the tone a little bit so that they get more visible. Change the color here and here yeah, like this. So if I play it, so two seconds is enough. You can uh, tweak the animation. It's not a uh, tutorial considering animation camera movement but if it was I would show you how we can handle the camera through your scene and how to set up your scene not to you know bump into a dead background but uh, still it is uh, informative enough to show you how you can set your camera movement uh, mainly it was uh, about particles and the way they could behave but well, final uh, change that I'm going to make is I'm going to fly to the flying particles and I go to uh, the option. Let me. I, I select the option, which is uh, random sit, and I'm going to change it to random sit so that now it just changes the way they behave. And I'm going to decrease the number to three so that they get overall. If I just put 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 uh, this option into sphere, make it like this. Uh, close sphere. I go there and. We go click and shine and flat it so that it gets more natural even though and uh, I apply some opacity random to it so it gets very very 
clear. Uh, let's keep the tone a little bit. So, good. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the other tutorials. So, good night.